back everyone. Today we have a Chrysler 300 and we have a blower fan problem. Uh, the lights don't come on, the backlight display is not there. So we'll turn it on here. We have a secondary problem where that button doesn't work and we have no display here. I, so I know the buttons are working because the vents and all are changing but we can't see the display. We're going to take this off and take it to the bench. So very easy. Just use your plastic tool and get in behind, nice and easy, and there's one clip here, all you got to do is push in here, and there we go. All right, see you on the bench. So, welcome back to the bench. We have uh, 530 seconds. Let's take a part. What I'm expecting to see is the same thing as a Chevy half-ton cluster problem. Where you have the uh, soldered on resistors got hot and are delaminated. Or... ...it from the pad. Shouldn't be a too big of a job. This rotary controller for the speed control that might be something else, but uh, we'll swill across that bridge. We'll get the lights working first before we uh, go to the second phase. Okay, last one. Cool. Okay. Put that aside. Okay. Four Phillips. Oh, gross. <sighs> Pop. Pull the plate off. Another screw. Cool. It's a little trick. Ah, so if you flip this over, these are all going to come out, and you're going to have a bad time. So, uh, make sure you don't do that. Basically, see, oh, a couple of those pins came out. We'll use a... Do that right now. Okay, so what my thought is, is these three resistors here. Hmm. Now, some people think, if you see uh, this little black piece, that means it's still good. There's no crack in your vacuum fluorescent. Um, but... And do a quick reflow. <laughs> Keep it to the side, Lloyd. Keep it to the side. Okay. Oh, look at that. Yes. See that, how it's wiggling? Yes, that's what I wanted to see and show you. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, and that one lifted right there too. You can see it wiggling. Flapping in the breeze. So we're gonna, oh, yeah, all three of them. Just ever so slightly. Oh, come on. Oh god, that looks like amateur hour. Okay. You can see the solder didn't get up to the top there. So I think that's our problem. Okay. And that's definitely not good enough yet. Let's grab some alcohol and that's better. Before we uh, put this back together, Let's go and show you that it worked. One connector here. Do, 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 do. Put her back in. Turn the key to the on. Look at that! Lights! Temperature, I believe that was there. Yeah. Auto. Off. Defrost. Let's go back to the bench and put it back together. Okay. All right, put that screw there. And I'm just going to do that and I'll be right back. Hi everyone, we're back to put this back in. Woohoo! Very simple. Uh, plug this in. And just clips in like so. Cool. Does the light come on? Woohoo! Perfect. Buttons working. Auto. Perfect. still have the problem with the blower motor not working, but I just wanted to rule out it was not the switch. So I can move the switch, and I can check the blower duty cycle. Cool. Just hold on. I'm going to unplug the module. Yeah. And I don't know if that's going to be anything different. Okay, there's the module unplugged. Let's see if it still works. Okay. Yeah, okay, so I have the little resistor pack. It's not a resistor pack, it's the newer version. Too old school. But the controller works. So, we are going to replace that with the right part. Take that and put it on the bench. See you soon. All right, this time on the bench. One of these. Okay, well, how do we take this apart? Mm, looks like there's a couple clips here. Could just buy a new one, but maybe we can figure something out. Usually there's a, a blown... I think that got hot. 
Okay, we're back. Off camera, I drilled those two rivets off, and I just solder sucked those out. Okay, now you're back up to snuff. Uh, so, uh, wiggle this out. I have my handy dandy transistor tester. That is not correct. It's not a 20 ohm zero resistor. It is, for those playing along at home, whoop, buzz 100. Okay, let's see if I can find something that'll work. Uh, let's put this in the board here. It'll just be a second. And solder it up and test it out. Where's my solder? There's my solder. And Chuck. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's reassemble it. We're gonna have to put some rivets in there, all right? And we'll put the rivets on after, but we'll get this cover on. Line that up. And... Well, if you found this video useful, give it a like. If you wanna see what I break next, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.